What's up? I need to take my mind off stuff. stuff. So we're in the shopping shopping. Shopping shop. Hello friends, hello friends, hello, 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 hello friends, we're here at Ross. We're gonna shop with crystals. Let's shop with crystals. Hello, friends, and welcome to our home. Um, it's Easter 2024, which is really crazy to even say out loud. All right, so what we've got going on here is we have the peeps, we have the Hello Kitty, we have the little um, Hello Kitty bucket, and then we also have the bunny. And then right there, I put another bunny, and we have another little metal bucket. We have some eggs. And then I got that at Timu, off of Timu, I think. Welcome. And sorry about the traffic, but we live off of a really busy street. All right. And then we have, like, Happy Easter and all that fun stuff. And then that's actually from Aldi. And everything's wet because it's raining here. And then there is my CVS wreath, which I got for, like, $2. I'm not even joking. Or less than that. It's, like, a dollar something. So let's go in and let's do our Easter home tour, decor, tour, something like that. It's been a long day, you guys. All right, and a really quick disclaimer, this is not, the way I decorate is not for everyone, so I do not do minimalist decorating, although I will say, I feel like I don't have enough decorations, and you'll see, because <laughs> my tastes are changing. And, um, yeah, they're changing to say, yeah. All right. That bunny right there is inflatable and he actually came from Dollar Tree Plus. I don't really know how I feel about him, but he's okay. All right. Over here, I just, I did a lot with a little area that I have. Um, this is bunny bait and then I liked the peeps. I just kind of kept it fun. And then the tree, we got all of that stuff at, um, from Wally World, to be honest with you. So... Yeah, and then we have that picture. I think that was... I don't know where I got that. I can't... Honestly, I can't remember. All right. This little guy, Gingerbread House, did come from um, Home Goods. And then he has risen. That's all from Hoobie Looby. And then we also have, like, a lot going down here. He's from um, Home Goods. I decided to throw Hello Kitty because she's wearing yellow, and I thought, hey, you know, she matches the flowers. Why not, right? Um, and then also there's the floral, which you guys have seen, actually. I'm sorry. Like, I'm still... <sighs> and so I did a lot. Like, I can tell my husband has knocked stuff over. <laughs> oh. You know what? I'm very, like, I know exactly where I put everything and how I do it. So, like, if it moves, uh, just even, I can tell. Like, and it drives me nuts. Yeah. All right. So, I wanted to keep it just fun, you know? And so that's what I did. And I definitely like it. It's really busy, and that's that's the way I like it. So then we put him right there, and then I just put a whole bunch of, like, Hello Kitty stuff right there because... I don't know, I just want to make it fun. So, all right. We're going to keep going. And a lot, we bought a lot of, well, I bought a lot of tea lights. Um, because I wanted to illuminate. So, I think we bought like, I don't know, 20 or something or more. Um, from Dollar Tree. Oh, and that little ladder actually did come from the 99 and then those eggs, I don't know where they came from. I think Walmart. I think I got like a really good deal on them. So, all right, you guys. And I just put the gnome right there because, honestly, he takes up room. But I'm over the gnomes. All right, and then that right there, I think is a 99. I don't know. But I just really liked how the I was going for a whole carrot look. And it worked. And then this is another ladder. And then I just stuck that sweet shop is from Hobby Lobby, and I just kind of hung it there. So, all right, let's keep going. All right, so there's something different this year, and 
I got these birds at Walmart. I thought they were really nice. And, oh, my husband did get me these beautiful flowers, by the way, so I want to show you those. And, um, yeah. So, I kind of, okay. I really like to decorate with a lot, and I feel like I just don't have enough. Hold on, you guys. And the reason why I couldn't post yesterday was because I couldn't find a tablecloth. I don't know what happened to the one that we got at Home Goods. No clue where it's at. So we're using the one that we got from Ross as a backup. But I have to get over that because I can get stuck on that for a while. <laughs> All right, this is from Home Goods. It is cuter than a button. Tell me that is not adorbs. Wait till you guys see the bar. I think that's I think that's my crowning jewel for this season. I am definitely happy with what I did with the bar. Um, but let's concentrate on the table. I know you guys are used to seeing the table first because I used to shoot here at the dining room table. Um, all right, obviously that's Ray Dunn, the tweet jar. This I did get at Dollar Tree, the Dollar Tree Plus, because I knew I would put it there. And what I was going for when I decided to how to do this vignette was I was going for like the really bright pastels and, you know, like there's the scarecrow, rabbit scarecrows from the 99. I was going for a really kind of like the tacky McTacky Christmas, not Easter. So that's how I kind of rolled with this. So I kept the colors really super bright. And that's from Dollar General, the Hoppy Easter. I actually bought two of them. And then that is from Hobby Lobby, the eggs in the grass. And then the ombre trees are Home Goods. These I got at Home Goods last year. The egg trees. This guy. Probably saw his, no, he's not the price tag. I don't know where I got him. Probably, I would say Home Goods. It's in that cracker. His girlfriend's somewhere around here. And then, of course, we have Johanna Parker. And then I also, you guys were with me at Marshall's when I bought these guys, the Minnie and the Mickey. And let me back up so you guys can take a look. You can see my wreath right there in the left-hand corner. And, yeah. So, let me turn off the lights so you guys can kind of get an idea of what it looks like. It's like we, I really like how everything just kind of illuminates. Also, the strand of lights back there are pretty cool. Oh, I didn't take off his price tag. Oops. That's actually, these, these trees are actually from last year. I don't know why the price tag's still on there. It's on one of the trees. But, anyways, let me back up. So, I think it turned out okay. I mean... I really don't know how I'm going to decorate until I start doing it. And that's how she looks. All done up pretty. So everything's on. And I'm happy with it. I mean, I just, I feel, I don't know, it's... It's busy, but I'm just, I don't know. There's something, like, I think, I mean, I'm not going to buy more decor. But... I do have an idea. I don't know. I don't know, you guys. I guess, you know, I guess because it's been so long since I've seen my dining room table like this since Christmas, maybe I'm just, and Christmas just overflows to the point where, like we have zero room. So I don't know. I mean, I think it's fine. You know, I, I'm going to leave it as it is. Now, if you're new to the channel and you're probably saying like, what is she, like, how is she decorating? Okay, first of all, we have a one bedroom condo and it's my husband and I, and then we also have a 70 pound Chow, chow. And we live in our home. Like, we use our home every single day. We live in it. So, like I said, the way I decorate is not for everyone. And I completely understand. You know, I, I appreciate everyone's decorating style. But ultimately, I live in this home and I need to look at it every day and I need to like it. So, I decorate how I like it. <laughs> Um, and I know this is probably a lot for people, but all right, this is, when I say the coffee bar, I literally have just like this little area. So I like this. So I decided to put that right there. There's our frother. These are my Hello Kitty, um, salt and pepper shakers. And then we have Ray Dunn. I use the pink because why not? Right. Pink Easter. These are, I think are from, I don't know, I think dollar spot target. This is peeps from Wally world. And then I just like this little mug, so I didn't want to put it away, so I decided to put the little things from Dollar Tree right there. And then this says Hello Easter, 
and that's from Hooby Looby. And then this is the carrot. And then that's more Ray Dunn. And then Hello Kitty Easter mug. Oops. And more sprinkles, just in case anyone wants to have their choice. And then we have A Cunt by Ray Dunn with the teal topper. And then I have the pink Hello Kitty canister. And then I also have, let me move this out of the way, hold on you guys. Tweet Heart with the yellow and then coffee. So, I like those. I'll put that right there. Uh -huh, you can hang out right there. All right, and then, all right, it gets really busy right here with the mug tray. All right, thank you so much, Chris. I absolutely adore this mug. It's the cutest. So I put her front and center. Hello, kitty. There are my espresso cups. Thank you so much, Susan. And then I also, you can tell I like carrots, right? All right, so I have those. I have a carrot mug right there. And then I have Johanna Parker. And then I have Love My Peeps, Squeeze the Day, my Pioneer Woman. And then because we don't have a lot of room, I decorate the back of the bar. So like that way, like when I'm looking at this side, it's just not plain and boring. So we have Happy Easter, right done. And then, oh, there's another mug. Let me take off Hello Kitty so you guys can see it. It's a Peeps mug. So I'll have that. Uh, what happened to my, oh, he dropped. Okay. So anyways, that is my tiny coffee bar. And... Yeah, I like it. All right, and then of course I have some soap from Bath and Body. I love Carnival butter popcorn, whatever the thing is called. It smells so good, Carnival kettle corn. And then of course the little one from um, Dollar Tree. All right, and then I'm using risers, but I covered them like with the plaid napkins in the front, so you can't see the red and white. But they're you'll see the <laughs> wait till you guys see the bar. I think. Definitely my favorite. Cup of Sunshine. This, I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep it, but I'll put it right there. All right. Have a Hoppy Easter. I love the carrots again, so I can have my pick of what mugs I want to drink out of. This is Hello Kitty. This is Happy Birthday. And she's a June baby like me, so. But I just put that out because it makes me happy. And then we have Hanging With My Peeps. I got that at Ross last year. And then I'm using this. When I turn around, you guys will be able to see. When I shoot the bar, you guys will be see why this is gold and why I kept it. Then I kept the, the Hello Kitty that has my dish soap. And then Cottontail Cutie. And then the, um, whatchamacallit, the gumball machine with all kinds of goodies in there. And then I just put that right there because I don't like my dish rack. You guys know I'm trying to get, like, I want to get a new one. All right. You guys have seen this before. Here are my towels. Just some of my towels, by the way. I have a ton of towels, by the way. I, you guys, it's insane. And then she's a cutie with her little ballerina. And then we have Ray Dunn. We have snacks. We have the carrot. We have Queen's Kitchen. And we have Ray Dunn. And then I didn't know where to put that teapot, but I wanted to use them, so I stuck them on there. Kind of weird, but I don't care. Easter treats, and yeah, it's super busy. But I mean, obviously, like this is not going to be here, you know. Every oh, time for crystals, lazy DIYs. We got to... Oh no, actually, this is fine. Actually, I'm not chipped. This. This is this is a really nice piece. I don't even know where I got it. Do I have the price? TJ Max, five ninety nine. It's really cute. I like it, and you can tell I like carrots. So, anyways. That's what I did. And the reason why, well, I mean, okay, I do have a carrot drying mat, but my husband spilled. See that right there? He spilled all the wax, you guys, all over these canisters and all over the dish mat. And then, <laughs> oh my God, you guys, at 5 a.m., here I am rinsing all, I mean, it was have you guys ever spilled, you know, hot wax? It went all over everything. Everything. So that was fun. 
All right, going to my stove. Okay, no, we don't keep it like this all the time. Obviously, this is not practical. Okay, I get it. I again, and it this is not for everyone. Okay, but this is how I like it, and yeah. All right, we have Johanna Parker. Aren't these beautiful? Let's let's just take a look at them. Are these real quick? Because yeah, I didn't even know I had these. <laughs> All right, look, I got these on sale, clearance four dollars at Home Goods, and I pulled them out and I was like, yes, look at them, gorgeous, right? How much were they regularly? Seven ninety nine. Anyways, just too cute, you know. I mean, really, really adorbs. So. All right, and then we have the Johanna Parker teapot. Yes, I duped them. You guys know me. I dupe a lot of stuff. All right, and then Johanna Parker spoon rest, and then my mixing bowl, and then we have this from, I think it's Rossi Bossy, and then I have my carrot spoon rest, and then we have lots. You see all those towels in that Pioneer Woman bowl? And then we have Hello Kitty and the, the Wabbit. And then you guys are with, well, if you watch the live, you're with me when I put this together. Here are my Hello Kitty napkins. I haven't opened them up because, I don't know, I want to use those first. And then I have just like, just a cute basket. All right, and then we, I put all this stuff up there, and I think it came out good. I like it. So, like I said, I mean, this is not a practical way to have your stove and so forth. I know I'm going to get, like, comments, you know, how do you cook on there, yada, yada, yada. But I don't cook, so that answers one of the questions, <laughs> you know. So that is the kitchen. We have a very small kitchen again, okay. We have a one-bedroom condo, and I reside in Orange County. So it's just my husband and I. There's no children living here. We just have a big fur baby. All right. Let's go look at what we did with the Easter wall because that's another intense. <laughs> that took forever, you guys. <laughs> All right, I try and keep this area really sparse, simple, and cheap because nacho sauces and taco sauces are just going to fly. And I know a lot of you guys think I'm kidding, but I'm not. You know, like, there's no way I'm going to be putting, like, nice runners here and stuff like that because I've learned my lesson. Um, So. You know, like, this is very simple, but it's still decorated. So we have the Ray Dunn Happy Easter. We have the little wreath. And then I kind of keep the same motif. Like, I put a wreath right there, and I put something in the middle, because, like I said, this I got to keep it simple. And then we have the bunny and the eggs, and they light up. So, all right. I guess let's take a look at the wall, right? Or, you know what? Let me start off. Let me show you the babies. Hold on. All right, we have Hello Sunshine by Ray Dan. We got my babies, yeah, and they got their ears on from Dollar Tree. And then she's got her little bow, Peeps bow. And then I have this nice throw from um, Home Goods. And then we have all of these pillows. You can kind of see what I like, right? Definitely like that bunny. It, this will only look like this today because then I got to move all the pillows, you guys, because otherwise we'll have stinky, dirty feet. That'll mess up my nice pillows. All right. And then we have, of course, Hello Kitty. Had to have her up in the max. You know? So let me back up a little bit so you guys can see. All right. I do not want to be in the mirror, you guys. I am, like, looking rough. It has been so hard to pull the house together. I know a lot of people are saying, how can it be so hard to pull the house together when it's so small? It's because it's because it is so small and wait till we start going through these vignettes. Alright, so we have a lot of wall decor. Alright, that is Aldi. That is Marshall's. Easter, Easter, Easter. That's a lot of I wanna say family dollar. Coming down, we have more from Hobby Lobby. And coming over here, it got busy. I know, it's really busy right here. All right. So that, the three eggs, is from Dollar Tree Plus. The gnomes, I'm sure, like from, I don't even know where they're from. Um, those tulips are from Hobby Lobby. That's actually from Dollar Tree Plus, the goose. 
And then these are like, I don't know where the little trees came from, to be honest with you. There's the girlfriend from Home Goods. This, I think, is from the 99, to be honest with you. And I just tucked the gnome in there because the gnomes are, the only reason why I'm keeping these gnomes is because they take up space. Like right here, it went perfect because they match the eggs. So I was like, okay, this works. Then we got the chick, uh, I think Wally World. And then I made this basket. Well, I didn't make the basket, but I mean, I put together the basket with the wooden bunny and eggs and carrots and so forth. And so. Let me back up so you guys can get a better look. And then up, Hello Spring, that is Aldi. The wreath, I believe, is like either Joanne's or TJ Maxx. And then the OG bunny canvas is Ross. So as you can see... You come in, and you're definitely going to know that, oops, I was falling over stuff, you guys, oh, it's Easter here, and I got my babies. All right, hold on, you guys. All right, so right here, I have, I think it's Pioneer Woman Wax Melt, it's got like a little bird right there, and then I have the Peeps, and then we have a gingerbread house Easter and then coming down I just put him right there he's cute and I just put wax melts in there and then the tulip and then the peeps that lights up and then we have a basket with a hello k blanket in there and then that's just the cheapie from DT because a uh, fancy yeah that, that rhymes all right I'll try to put this together I think I know how I like this hold on Kind of sometimes when I see stuff, I'm like, huh, maybe we'll do it like this, and that will like make it look better. Yep. All right. So there we go. All right. Let's keep going. <laughs> oh my god, you guys! I can't. Okay, I'm not gonna even tell you guys what has been going on here at this house. Let's just say it has just been wild. And I know a lot of you are gonna be like, what? How do you de like? Why do you decorate like this? I don't know. I don't have an answer. <laughs> I'll let you guys take it in because I'm sorry. I I've been working nonstop. I mean, since yesterday till today, I didn't even shoot. I haven't left the house. Um, takes yeah. This is a lot. All right, let's get into it because if I sit down, I might just fall asleep. All right. I think Dollar General or Hobby Lobby. I don't remember, you guys. And then the tulips are all from Hobby Lobby. The peeps are from Walmart. Let me back up because you guys can see the peeps. Those are big daddy -os. And I'm, next year I'll get a third one. I'm going to do like a whole peeps vignette. Um, Alright. We have a peeps throw in a big basket, as you can see. We have a gnome. Again, just space taker uppers. We have a pillow that I just thought looked good because I had like that floral print and it has a tassel, so I put it there. We have an adorable Cabbage Patch Kid with a pacifier, one of my favorites. Um, and then she's next to a bunny, which I'm pretty sure we got at Ross. Ross really is just amazing. We have Hello Easter. I think that's from Family Dollar. We have her with her little carrot headband. She's a cutie patootie. And then I'm pretty sure I got that crate at Ross. There's a lot going on right here. All right, that egg sighted. I don't remember where I got that. I'm sorry. The brown bunny, probably like TJ Maxx. The big carrots, I'm pretty sure Ross. And then another bunny from Ross. And then the eggs are from Hobby Lobby. And then the gnome is probably like, I don't know, Home Goods or TJ Maxx. And then we have more Cabbage Patch Kids sitting on grass from Hobby Lobby. And then the Peeps. And then up here, we got him at Ross, and he just looks so cute. And not only that, I love the fact that his arms are wire, so he's holding... Those are from... I don't know where they're from, I'm sorry. But he's holding them up, and he has his carrot. And then we have Hello Spring. And then I use those backdrops from Dollar Tree, because... If they break, you know, I really don't care. It's not like a big investment was made. 
And then Hello Spring is actually from the 99 from years ago. And I just, it just looks good, so I keep it. And that is from Home Goods. The egg and the girl. And then I'm pretty sure that welcome is like from Family Dollar. Oh, I just put it right there. And then the tulip in there is Hobby Lobby. And then we have more cute Cabbage Patch Kids with their ears. And then we have the bunnies are from Dollar Tree Plus. That rug is from, I think, TJ Maxx. And then Hello Kitty is from CBS. And then coming up, I did something different. Um, she is from Home Goods, and I'm really, I was really upset that I don't have more of, of her. So next year, we are going to go, and we are buying like three. I want, or four, or no, you know what? We're just going to do six, so we need to get five. I don't know. I mean, I don't know where I'll put them, but we'll find a place. Oh, sorry, you guys. The cross, I think it's either from Ross or Hobby Lobby. Oh, Home Goods. All right. Sorry about that. Yeah, I want six of these. So we're going to have to get five next year. Same thing for Halloween. And if they make these bad girls in for 4th of July, I am going to get six. All right. Love this. So that's like TJ Maxx, one of those. She's actually just from the 99. She's brand new. And she actually worked out really well. I was kind of like... I wanted to kind of keep it simple. And yes, this is simple for me. Really simple. So I just put this lantern, which is old. And then this huge... This is from last year. Gingerbread house. And I didn't put... I just wanted to keep it kind of simple. And... There she, she's brand new. She's like from Home Goods. She's a cutie too. And then because I didn't do Valentine's, I decided that the pink tree, macaron tree, would work for Easter. So that's what we did. And then we have another passy cabbie with his ears. That rug is from Timu. And then I just put that right there. Happy Easter. That's from Family Dollar. All right, so like I said, my tastes are changing and I'm just trying to get used to it because like, honestly, this is so bare for me. I'm like, this is so minimal. Like this is, I am dying right now. I mean, I am just like, what am I doing? Like, what is this? Because this is not, I mean, usually things are like dripping off of this, but I don't know. I just felt like that these pieces are just so over the top as they are that I wanted to keep it simple. I mean, like, look at him. He is holding a macaron tree, a teapot, and he's standing on a saucer. And he, and he has a beautiful top hat, you know? And then these by Martha Stewart are just over the top, and they're so stinking cute. And then I got these candles for them. And then we got this when I did the home goods live. I was able to snag these. And then another item that's like over the top, you know, he's doing some type of acrobatics with a, I mean, I just, yeah, it's a lot. So they're big statement pieces. So I just kind of kept it simple. And then he's sitting on a mushroom and he just looks adorbs. And then he's a little cake bunny. And I just thought he was too cute. I'm pretty sure this is like Home Goods or something. Yep, TJ Maxx, $5.99. I mean, seriously, insanely cheap. I don't even know. This is Marshall's $19.99. And then, coming down here, I also just, I don't know, like, it was really bizarre how I wanted to keep it so simple. Like, I'm not used to this. All right, the eggs are Laura Ashley. Let me back up. I feel like I'm way too close for you guys. Alright, the eggs are Laura Ashley. And the red wagon is Hobby Lobby. That's actually a throw rug back there, but I use it as a backdrop. And then we also have the carrot house, which I got last year. And then we also have those eggs right there, which are from Hobby Lobby. The Easter trees from Hobby Lobby. 
The bunnies are from Home Goods. The eggs are from Hobby Lobby. The yellow egg is from Home Goods. And then I think they told you the green grass runner was from Dollar Tree Plus, and I just cut it to size. And I thought that just was that was good, like just like that. I felt like when I was doing the runner, the green runner, I kind of wanted to get the idea like they're like we're outside, so I just wanted to keep it really simple. And somebody moved my wagon. There we go. So that's what I did. All right, let's go up to the wall. <laughs> All right, the wall is pretty simple. We didn't go crazy because, honestly, because it's, there's so many rectangles. You know what I mean? It's not the same as like when we're decorating for Christmas where we have like snowmen and we have like different shapes. This was all pretty, just, you know, we had to do it how we had to do it. All right, Cottontail, Hobby Lobby, Farm Fresh, Hobby Lobby, Sweet. Shop Hobby Lobby. The one in the middle, like I said, I bought two Hoppy Easters at Dollar General last week, last year. Hobby Lobby Sweet Shop. I think the brown bunny is from um, Wally World. And then the sheep, I don't know, I think Home Goods. Spring Flower Market is Hobby Lobby. And that's Hobby Lobby. Now coming up here, the carrot patch is Hobby Lobby. And the two doors on either side are Family Dollar. And then up here, we have Home Farmhouse. Happy Easter, Ray Dunn. I don't know where it's from, you guys. It could be Marshall, CJ Max, or Home Goods. And then Welcome is Hobby Lobby as well. So again, let me take a step back. Let you guys take a look so I can sit down too because I am like, I am so tired. Oh my gosh. It's a lot, I know. But it, I like it. Alright. Now I'm going to show you my favorite part of the house. Let me show you how it looks illuminated. So, yeah. I'm keeping my, this is all going to be out until all the way through April. And then May, I'll start taking stuff down and we'll start getting ready for red, white, and blue. And I will be doing Christmas in July. Alright, let's do the bar because I that's my favorite one. Well, I like the bottom of there too. I like how I, I like it. I like how it looks outside. I, mission accomplished. All right, here's the bar. And I kept the theme, which was gold, because these bad boys are gold. And those were from Home Goods. And the cake, I think, is from Home... Yeah, it's from Home Goods. Now him, believe it or not, I got him at Ross, you guys. Look at that. So what I did was I put nice eggs in there, and then I put a gold bunny on top. And that's why I put the gold, and even though it's red, it still goes. So I was like, you know what, we'll do it. And this is definitely one of the jewels in the crown. I mean, just amazing. And then we also have the cupcakes from Martha Stewart are absolutely adorable by the way then I, you guys I almost forgot I bought this and I didn't I pulled it out of the closet yesterday I was like what is this totally forgot I bought it isn't it cute though then we have the big guy with the macaroons and then he's from Ross and the macaroon and I just kept the tree pink. I kept it just like that. I wasn't going to decorate it because I didn't have gold and I just felt like it just would, it flowed better. And then there's another sign. Pink, pink cut out rabbit. And then the cake is gorgeous. 
Alright, who has been moving my stuff? Mm. Okay. And I really, really like these, so I'm very, very happy. And then she's a cutie. With the egg, and she's on green grass. And then we have him. And then this was actually purchased at Christmas. And I, and I knew it. I said, this will work for Valentine's, and it will work for Easter. And sure enough, look at it. The light blue bounces off that. So, I mean, it is just perfect. And then the runner I used is really, really nice. I mean, you really can't see it all that well, but the runner is really pretty too, you guys. I know it's a lot. <laughs> Trust me, I know. I decorated it. I know it's a lot. Alright, and then we have Cabbage Hatch Kids, and they're just... Wearing their ears, hanging out, having a good old time. Alright, hold on, you guys. Alright, lots of books. And that's Fancy's eating station right there, so... No, we can't hide that or spruce it. <laughs> well, actually, she's actually spruced up. She has, you know, festive rugs. And there's her... Her toys. And I'm telling you, she gets them all out. I mean, everywhere. Everywhere, 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 everywhere. Alright. This I just kept really simple, you guys, because I was, I mean, I ran out of room, to be honest with you, so that's why there's two gingerbread houses here, because I was like, where do I even put these? Um, and then I decided that I wanted the radon canister right there. So that's what I did. Alright, going up, we have the bunnies. He's driving the VW Bug, then we have the cutout, then we have the camper. And then we go up even more, and we have even more. Easter, 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 yes. It is Easter. And I know some of you guys probably caught a look of her. Yes, I have strawberry shortcake. And she stays out here. And I'm overflowing with books, you guys, so I really gotta do something about that. We're gonna need a bigger bookcase, because... <laughs> yeah... But there's my book from Dollar Tree. I like it. And then I still have my nursing books. You can see, like, the binding's broken because what can I say? I studied. And this little bird got buried because of all of our books. So we'll put her out. She's a cutie. I should put her out somewhere. Oh, no, I guess she'll go right there. Why not? We're already overflowing. All right. Let's go look at our tree. What did I do with the tree? And there's my tree. Let's go see. Alright, let's get into it. It's a Hello Kitty tree. And there's the top hat, which is from Wally World. And remember I told you guys how I was going to use it? Yep, I did. And a lot of Hello Kitties. I even use like the purse and stuff. Oops, this one. If these eggs are not meant for decoration, but I'm making them work. So, and then I put down my tree skirt. And there's my side stepper. These are from 90% off from Christmas, but they work for Easter. I have an OG an OG lamb from back in the day cuz I'm I'm seriously a Hello Kitty collector. Like, I've been doing this since I was in second grade. So, I am not just, like, <laughs> trying to be on trend. No, I'm, like, I'm seriously an OG collector. And then there's another one. And I'm sure there's another one. Oh, also a basket back there with her little... Just threw in a little picture and some eggs. And then, yeah, I do, I mean, you really can't see the tree skirt, but I have to have a tree skirt, so. And. More Hello Kitty. We have a side stepper. And then we also have a Squishmallow. We have another basket. 
And there's actually another bucket behind there. And you can see, what is it? Oop! One Hello Kitty fell. Sorry, Mama. I'll get you. And yeah. And then I also got these from Hobby Lobby for 90% off. And they're glass. More Hello Kitty. And then all the ornaments, like that, is Hobby Lobby. So, that is my tree. And if you're wondering why I'm just showing you the tree, because my husband asked me not to, like, our bedroom's off limits. I can show the tree, but that's it. So that's why, like, I'm really kind of just, like, I turn it vertical and I zoom in, because this is his home as well. And I can show the tree, but that's, that's it. <laughs> so, any hoosers. Well, thank you so much for visiting. We enjoyed having you. I hope you guys all enjoyed our Easter decor tour. And um, let me know what you guys think. It's a, I did it. It's different. I mean, I have to be, I mean, honestly, like 75% of the stuff is new. So we definitely, I don't know. It's different. <laughs> I think what's really different for me is this right here. It's very, very, um, I don't know. But change is good, you know? I just have to kind of get used to it. I mean, right here is like, you know, like, I like all of that. And then you kind of come over here and things just kind of calm down. But I think my favorite is definitely the bar. And then I kind of like how I made that look like it was outside. So... All right, my friends, you guys, I'm exhausted. I'm going to get this up, and I hope you all enjoy it. Slam that like button. Oh, also, please, um, subscribe to the, new, to the new channel if you want to see the vlogs, vacation vlogs, vlogmas, crazy cooking shows, all of that. Um, I made a community post, and it's also on the Instagram. We have a new channel, and it is called The Queen Happy life happy wife so that's where i will be posting all the vlogs this channel is going to remain the same it's going to be all shopping and hauls and the tours going up obviously on this channel but the other channel will be for everything that you know like vacation vlogs and all of that stuff so if you're interested on in that please head on over to the other channel and i will see you there all right, my friends, thank you so much for coming to our home and joining us. We truly appreciate having you. And it has been a pleasure, and I am going to get some well-needed rest. I will see you all tomorrow. I will be loading up two shopping videos per usual. Thank you so very much.